All right, so what actually happened in the women's road race today? A lot of confusion, a lot of people making up excuses in my opinion, um, and some dodgy tactics, and obviously an outrageously strong winner. So the winner was Anna Kaiser Kaisenhofer. She got in the early break, she literally attacked from kilometer zero, got in the early break, rode with like five other people, they dropped uh, all of them apart from two others, uh, Shapiro and the Polish rider, and then she decided, you know what, it's time to go again with like 40k to go. Van Vluten at that point was already chasing, and they're on this descent going towards the um, the circuit. Van Vluten already crashed. She was like literally putting no time into her at all. Um, but apparently, the whole time, they had no idea who was up the road. And then with about four and a half kilometers to go, they caught the two leaders, um, who well, the two leaders, like Shapiro and the Polish girl. And um, yeah, they were basically thought that she was winning. Uh, but then they thought, all right, we've caught everyone. This is what it is. Um, you know, there's nothing else to see here. Uh, the rider was called Plichter, sorry. Um, and that was it. And then, the, you know, Van Vluten attacked with like 2K to go. One went to the end of the race, put the hands up, was like, oi, you got a gold medal. And then everyone was like, no, you haven't. There's already someone up the road. Now, the reason why I think it's a bit odd. And then afterwards, Van Vluten was like, oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. Uh, Lizzie died and thought Van Vluten had won. And then we've got more, more quotes here saying that, I thought I won 5k to go. Voss comes up to me. She doesn't know. Um, I feel stupid. All that stuff. And then Van der Breggen saying, "I tried to count who they caught. I thought we had everyone. The tax was wrong. We just had didn't have the information." Um, so they were basically saying that that like they didn't give enough um, checks to the riders on the motorbikes, um, which could be true. Um, Cecilia Utrecht Ludwig was really angry. Um, the things here they. The big stars were cheated by an unnoticed Austrian in the women's... This might be the way it's translated, but that sounds pretty harsh headline, in my opinion. Um, anyway, Cecilia Utrecht basically is just saying that people with more riders need to chase um, and that it's all a bit confusing um, and that basically why do they let some amateur win? Which I think is a bit harsh. She's probably said in a heated moment. Doesn't actually mean as harsh as she did. Um, but yeah, I think that's basically the gist of this article. And then, yeah, Anna van der Bregen, I think, was also said similar things. Um, you know, the team tactics make some more sense, says Josephine. She's always got some good opinions. Um, and then one thing is, uh, well, she did, I guess, win the medal. But anyway, the point is this. They caught the break, the, the, well, up the road after 11 minutes, with like, what, 4K to go. So you, I don't really buy it that this was like their tactic of just like, oh, we're just going to let the break go and then we'll bring them back. Because I don't think it was. I think their tactic was whack Van Vluten with a long way to go, catch the break. Right, so Van Vluten wasn't strong enough to catch the break. That's number one. Maybe she crashed, can't descend anymore after a crash. Probably true. Um, like, you know, she was seen very gingerly, like not pedaling around corners that weren't really very sharp. Anyway, so that. Number two is like, they just didn't really chase at any point. They were all just like messing around. So I was like, well... Like, they must know the gaps at some point. Like, they can go back to the team car, and the team car can watch the TV and be like, oh, yeah, it's five minutes. So, like, I didn't really understand. With, like, 20K to go, they were still, like, three four, three minutes behind Plichter um, and Shep. So, it's sort of like, I just don't think, like, their tactics were good anyway. So, ignoring um, Kaisenberger, the tactics were still horrendous from the Netherlands because they didn't bring them back. It was very lucky they actually managed to get those two back in the end. Like, they, Demi Vollering, they only put on the front end when Voss came back. And they're all waiting. So I don't really buy this whole, oh, you know, if we'd known Kaisen Harper was up the road, we would have chased her back. It's like, well, I don't believe that because you barely caught Shapira um, and Plichter. Like, you look, caught them with, like, what, 4K to go? And, like, okay, you might say, oh, that's a lot. But, like, it was really touch and go. Like, most people thought they weren't going to catch them until the very end um, where, like, they actually got the whole team on the front and were, like, drilling it back. So... And then after that, yeah, obviously they stopped working thinking they won uh, and this was it. But I still don't really get it. Like, OK, I understand there's no race radios, but they did grow up through all their amateur life not having race radios. And I'm pretty sure they would have raced when the World Tour did actually uh, ban, you said ban uh, World Tour, uh, radio, what's it called, radios, not unless you're in the World Tour or something. So like they have raced without race radios. I understand the motorbike thing, very annoying. But at the same time, like, if you're the Dutch Cycling Federation, surely you thought, okay, we may won't get, won't get time gaps. They've got Swaneurs on the course. You call them up and say, oi, let them know. 
there's another lad up the road or another lass up the road. Like, you know, I, like I get it, the point in the moment of like, oh, we didn't understand it. But realistically, that is your fault. I think people's comments being like, oh, you know, if we'd known, we would have won. It's like, well, no, but at the end of the day, Kaiser Nova was clearly outrageously strong because when Bland Bluton tried to bridge to her, she couldn't. And like, you think Strada Bianca 2019, no, 2020, and Van Bluton bridge like a five minute gap to um to Mavi Garcia. So you're like, okay, she's obviously strong. She obviously played it well. Like, I just don't really buy the fact that all these riders are basically saying that, oh well, Kaisenov was just this lucky one that everyone forgot about. It's like, well, arguably, but I, I don't believe it because Van Bluten couldn't get across the gap and she kept holding it. Even when the Dutch started drilling it on the front, she lost like 40 seconds. So like she was strong and i just don't think you can just go around and say just because you didn't win um that you know trying to discredit it. like i don't think they are trying to do that in my opinion but it comes across like they are and i don't think it's a good look i think you should say yeah we didn't realize she was on the front but you know fair play huge ride out front all day etc etc instead of being like i think maybe it's also the translation to english as well but like, oh, well, you know, we didn't know it's all a shambles. You know, they didn't give us time gaps, this and that. It's like, well, yeah, but at the end of the day, like, it is your responsibility to understand who, the race situation. And you know there aren't race radios because there never have been in the Olympics. But yeah, I also think the other thing that really did contribute to Kaisenhoff's win is just the Dutch dominance because they all basically had four team leaders. And so none of them really would like drill it properly and so the gap went up so much and if you're like america you've got four riders right but you're like i've got Conor rivera i've got leah thomas uh ruth um winder i can't remember the other rider they had oh chloe diger like they're all good but they're all not like gonna win and if you're gb you've got diger and, so you've got two riders italy okay they had a fair few but again at least along but we do you really back up i don't know um same with like denmark to see it a little bit her other teammate norsgaard crashed away away but you're getting you've got two two teammates so well, two team members together, so one teammate. So it doesn't really add up um, who's going to chase. So I think in that way, the Netherlands letting this break go so much is just a bit too, um, wasn't great tactics. And ultimately they paid for it. Like They can blame the time gaps and all the rest of it. But at the end of the day, you couldn't bridge that gap. Maybe you could if like, you're really hard. But anyway, I, in my opinion, it was um, the strongest ride on the day one, to be honest. <laughs> and I don't think anyone can really have much excuses. And I think in like a couple of days time, they'll be like, oh, yeah, fair enough. Like, yeah, we probably could have maybe chased her back if we were like actually knew from how strong she would have been. But like, I still don't think anyone actually thought she could do it because, yeah, I mean, it's just mad. But anyway, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you thought below um, and we'll see you in the next one.